What is it, baby May May? He's back, he's back, he's back. Yeah, the truck's back. Good job. Good job, baby May May. I want to thank RV Mattress by Brooklyn Bedding for sponsoring this video. You need a mattress for your RV or home? These people have one. You get a 120 night sleep trial, free shipping, and a 10 year warranty. And best of all, they're made right here in the good old US of A. So go to rvmattress.com slash campervankevin. Use the coupon code campervankevin and get 20% off your purchase. All right, back to our regularly scheduled program. Hey everybody, Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. Me, I'm good. Uh, fix a little breakfast. I'm gonna stay here with the babies, give them their treat, get my morning started. May Mace, what you doing? Look how she holds it between her two feet. He's a good martini. He's a good tucker. Man, it's almost over. So every morning, I come out here and I have a delicious egg burrito. <laughs> and the babies, they have their dentist sticks. It's kind of a thing we're doing. But today, today I'm having gravel. The rest of my cinders brought in here. And all this grass has been taken over. I'm gonna put some, uh, I'm gonna have to point with my plate in my hand. I'm gonna put some uh, heavy, big cinders, big rock gravel. Then we're gonna top coat it with cinders. Come back go all the way down my driveway, blend it in. So all of this cinder work will finally be done. Felix has got a box outside his RV there. He has a chair that he sets uh, in uh, to watch TV and everything, and his chair just wore out, so he got him a new office chair. He's so proud of it, he can't stand it, but uh, he's a lot more comfortable sitting in that chair. But we're sitting here waiting on the senders to arrive. I just heard the dump truck, my sender truck. I'm going to have to put my burrito, unfinished burrito in here. I hadn't showed you my uh, my new cabinets, have I? My upper cabinets I put in. Yep, yep, yep. I just uh, I didn't have enough room in here to do the cooking that I wanted to cook. So don't miss nothing. Cleaning out the bottom down here. I had some uh, gas uh, propane bottles for our little uh, propane cooker, but. Uh, but now I got room to put my induction cooktop and my microwave up out of the way. Put the Berkey off to the side. Got my paper towel holder. Yeah. Handy dandy. I still hadn't decided whether or not I'm going to use put a, a sink faucet in here or just keep using this blue jug. <laughs> the blue jug is so handy. Only problem it takes up counter spot counter space, but I don't know. And I'm gonna reroute this power cord. It looks bad. I'm gonna reroute the power cord and put it around this and over the top, so you can't see it as good. Just the little things that add up add up to a big thing. Man, you sound so wise sometimes. Uh. No, Tucker, I just think about what I say. And you take your time when you say it. That's that's a gift from being in the South, Tucker. 
people think that you're you're not too smart because you talk slow. That is not the case. Yes, they don't know nothing. Who's they, baby May May? People. That's right, baby. People. So when I'm done with my induction cooktop, I just took it right up there. And I'll uh, I'll hang this. I, I like using cast iron, but this copper works pretty good. When I'm done, I'll make a place to hang it over here as well. My battery died in my clock. Well, I saw the saw the truck come by and he stopped. Then he went on. I guess he's going to go turn around. So we come back, and he'll come back and drop his drop one of the trailers or drop his trailer. With all this rain, I'm getting tons and tons of purple flowers. I know I shouldn't be eating when I'm filming, but it's so good. Look how beautiful. Isn't the desert ugly? Right? Now there he is. Even more purple flowers. So given the delivery driver instructions of where to put everything. You did good, Tuck Tuck. I know you didn't know him. I told you to go back to the house and that's what you did. I, I, I mind I mind real good, but you know Dad, my main job, yeah, Tuck, is security. I I, I gotta keep stuff uh, you know. I gotta keep an eye on things around here. You do a good job, Tuck. Okay, y'all got your treats. They are enjoying that dog bed. If you got dogs outside, I don't get any commission or anything. Uh, a little bit of food going up under there. They are thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying that dog bed. It cost about 50 bucks on eBay. But um, my new cabin is, is quickly turning into storage. It's not what I expected at all. But Felix and I were talking about best ways to use it. And we're talking maybe like a, put a one of those big 80 inch flat screen TVs in the back wall. You know, insulated walls, floor covering, all that. But put in six or eight theater seating. Big screen TV in the back. And make it like a entertainment room, living room kind of thing. Sort of, sort of. But have a roll-up bed or two uh, in a corner in a closet. To where when I have company. Here comes that truck. We'll have a place to stay. Just a thought. Nothing's written in stone. Almost missed it. Whoever came up with this the idea is just absolutely brilliant. Kind of spooky walking out here in this tall grass. Look at that. Now to me, that's amazing. That way you get two loads going at the same time. Saves a lot of time, a lot of fuel. I've had to wait a month to get this material. They're so far behind. 
hopefully this will be the last of it. If Felix isn't awake by now, let's see if, see if that truck woke him up. Our friend uh, Paul that I bought the red tracker from, he's coming up this weekend to work on the, tra uh, the sidekick here. Felix, are you up yet? Nope. He's not sleeping good. He's hurting. So, whenever he can grab grab a, a few Z's, I leave him alone. And these are the cinders. My babies. Tucker's sitting there watching martinis right there. Baby May May. Volcanic rock. He's going to go back and get 30 yards more. Everybody says, don't these cinders hurt the dog's feet? They've got used to it. They got their, they got their paws toughened up pretty good. But uh, they already had tough paws. If a dog that's not used to being outside, they'd struggle. Even Foxy Lady, she gets around real good on it now. Me? Oh, I can't do it. They act like it's nothing now. You sweet babies. I get a lot of peace being here at RV Base Camp. I really do. Um, will I travel again? Yeah, probably. But for now, oof, a, a gnat, a gnat. We always say people in South Georgia are so friendly sitting on the porch, you're out on the front porch going like that. People think they're waving. And they get rid of gnats, gnats. We don't have many that many bugs here. Um, but in fact, I'm fixing to, fixing to put on a screen door here on the purple tiny house. Now it's getting a little cooler weather. So, uh, I can, uh, yeah, I can leave the door open all the time, not get any bugs in. I leave the door open all the time now, but just a few bugs come in. But I get a lot of peace. Staring off into the view and the dogs happy still healthy they're getting a lage on them and so am i but uh having my friends over we all sit under this tree and jibber jab chew the fat i'm very happy and very content but uh then felix gets sick you know we we don't ever know how things are going to go but uh, people say, you know, you got this just in time, you know, getting off the road. And now Felix has a place, too, while he's sick. But I'm not even sure if he's going to be able to stay up here with his treatments. I think after chemo, four hours from Phoenix after chemo to get here is just not going to work for him. But we'll figure it out as we go. People are going to say something about it. You got your porta potty on the front porch? Yeah, I do. I had the porta potty sitting here in this corner, and the gasket that goes between the top layer and the bottom layer started leaking. And so uh, my floor got wet. So I'm setting it out on the front porch to make sure that the new seal is holding. I purchased this little. Uh, oil filled heater the other day for $60 and I've got some ceramic heaters that are great but I'll tell you what this thing puts off the best heat that's right in the daytime I'll run the air conditioning about an hour and at night I run this on low it gets kind of chilly here in the evening I got to get this gas heater I've got to get this gas heater hooked up soon as well I got a big propane tank that should be delivered anytime now 
Yeah, I stay in the RV. That's where I sleep most of the time. But uh, if I'm going to stay here this winter, I'm even though the Bigfoot is made for those Canadian winters, I mean, it's made to go minus 20. But it's going to use a tremendous amount of propane. I'm thinking I'm going to get this set up for wintertime use. And then come spring, go back to the Bigfoot. This is very, this, this purple tiny house here is very well insulated. So I'll get it underpinned, get the gas hooked up. And then uh, we'll let this cold winter, old man winter, we'll let him blow. Do his, uh, do his best. And I still got to get this uh, G stove hooked up. Um, yeah, now this catches all my junk. I know you got a place like that in your house too. But, uh, be able to heat some water, cook some biscuits, if I use this stove, but I still got to install it. I have a lot of friends tell me that I need to get a pellet stove, and they make pellets for wood stoves right up here in Sholo, and I can get enough uh, pellets for two or three years of heating this place for two or three hundred dollars. So I may do that instead of a firewood, a firewood stove. We'll see. And people will be like, well, Kevin, you got ceramic heaters, two of them. You got the oil field heater, you got the gas heater, and you got the fireplace. <laughs> Why? Why would you worry about making sure you've got uh, enough stuff for heat? Well, where I'm at, I really don't have to have air conditioning. I'm up at just almost 7,000 feet in elevation. I don't have to have it. But uh, heat, yeah, that's something that's uh, <laughs> it's going to be kind of important. So you know me, having a backup to a backup to a backup. That's why I'm, that's why I'm putting in the propane and the wood stove or pellet stove too. Why so many buildings when you got a, a nice RV? A backup to a backup to a backup. That's why. All that solar. Portable generator. These uh these solar generator things that I've been testing on my channel. Backup to a backup to a backup. <laughs> it's just how I am, it's how I do it. Is that why you have three dogs? Uh, no, Tucker. It's not why I have three dogs. But now that you kind of, now that you mention it, it's kind of a good idea. Do you remember when I got you? We had baby May May and Martini. We met up there at that church. The video is called Free Yorkie. That's when I got Tucker. So I guess I got a backup to a backup to a backup. Good job, baby May May. That's going on eight years ago, at least, since I got Tucker. It's one of my most favorite videos, Free Yorkie. How do y'all like my, my crocheted blanket right here? I had a subscriber that made this for me while I was fighting, struggling with my cancer. And she called it my prayer blanket. And I know you know who you are and you watch. And it's one of my most prized possessions. Because she said, really, she said while she was knitting this, crocheting it for me, that she said a thousand prayers for me, for me to get well. And so, uh, I sleep every night under my prayer blanket. Yep, yep, yep. Very, very nice gift. And I told her, I said, the dogs are going to sleep on it. They're going to scratch on it. She says, I don't care. I built, I made it free to use. So we use it. Thank you so much for my gift. What is it, baby, May May? He's back. He's back. He's back. Yeah, the truck's back.
Good job. Good job, baby May May. Ooh, that's a lot of swimming. Here comes the last load. That's a lot of cinder. that's going to make today's video hope you guys enjoyed that but I'm going to end it where this little video where right here I appreciate each and every one of you thank you guys so much for watching my videos hey we'll see you again soon and you guys take care and as always I give God the glory for my life Jesus Christ he's my Savior see you next time bye bye Mmm, breakfast burrito. A wrap, fried egg, crispy bacon from the deli, and a bunch of melted pepper, pepper jack cheese. That's what I'm talking about. Mmm.